Hello, this is Daniel from the Provision ISR channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and use the PNV cameras. In the effort to provide practical and effective surveillance solutions, Provision ISR introduces a line of plug and view cameras which allows for an easy DIY installation and setup. With the plug and view cameras, you can monitor your important areas through 3G or wireless connectivity via your smartphone or tablet. This is thanks to the benefit of video transmission over our cloud services. All of our plug and view cameras have the following specification. Our cameras have a resolution of 1 megapixel and our recorded video format H.264 for high quality transmission over the network. Our cameras include illumination by infrared LEDs of up to 10 meters. And our cameras have micro SD support of up to 64 gigabytes. All of our plug and view cameras are compatible with Android and iOS platforms. The procedure for installation consists of three simple steps. Plug-in. Plug in the camera into an available network socket on your router and to a power source. Download and scan. Through your smartphone or tablet, download the free Provision PMV app from the App Store. On Android, you will download it from the Google Play app. Once you have downloaded and installed, run the app and select Add Camera. Then click on Scan QR Code. The QR code is found on the bottom side of the camera or on the camera's box. For password, enter 8 6 times. Monitor. Once the camera status indicates Online, you can log in and watch the live stream video. If you wish to set up the camera in wireless mode, you will first need to follow the first two steps. Once the camera is online, you will need to use the app to access the settings menu by clicking the circled I on the right hand side. On Android, it is the circled arrow. In the pop-up menu, click on camera settings and then click on Wi-Fi settings. Choose the wireless network you wish the camera to connect to Enter the network's password and save the settings by clicking Done. The camera will restart the instant you remove the network cable from it and will activate the wireless mode. It's that simple. Let's review some of the features in the camera's app. Click on the circled I and then select Camera Settings. First, let's have a look at the password settings. We always recommend changing the camera's default password. The new password must contain at least six characters, letters, numbers, but no special characters. Click Done to save and exit this menu. Please note that after you have changed the camera's password, it is necessary to change the password in the Edit Camera menu as well. Otherwise, you won't have access to the camera. Time Settings To adjust the camera's clock to local time, just click in this menu on Sync with Local Time. On Android, it is Sync with the Phone. SD Settings As mentioned before, the camera supports micro SD memory card. If such a card is inserted into the camera, it will be necessary to format the card before it can be used. Clicking Format SD will pop up a confirmation window. Click OK will begin the formatting process, which will take about 20 seconds, during which the camera will restart. It would be advisable to recheck this option in order to verify that the SD card was formatted and recording has started. Firmware Upgrade On Android, it is Other Settings. Like any software, the camera's software can be updated. These updates are crucial for fixing bugs and improving the stability of the camera. Accordingly, a new update is released every few months. Therefore, you will need to check manually if such an update exists. In this menu, you can see the top line which represents the current version and the bottom which represents the latest. If a newer version is available, click on it and confirm the upgrade. After the camera has finished restarting, please check and verify that it is updated with the latest firmware. 
Now let's have a look at some of the functions in the live stream screen. From the start menu of the app, click on the picture. As you can see on your live stream screen, there are sets of function icons. Circled triangle icon will reveal amongst the options the vertical horizontal mirror which gives you the ability to flip the picture vertically and horizontally if the camera is mounted on the ceiling. The picture icon allows you to select the image quality. The higher the quality is, the sharper the image will be. Increasing the image quality will increase latency because it also increases the bandwidth usage. This option does not affect the quality of the recordings that are saved on the memory card. Microphone and speaker icons. Clicking on the microphone will allow speaking through the camera to its surroundings. Click on the speaker to listen to the camera's surroundings. Take into account that you cannot use both of these icons at the same time. Video camera icon. Clicking this icon will start recording the live stream of the camera directly on your mobile device. For the recording to take place, you will need to keep the camera's screen open. Camera icon. This icon allows you to take a still photo of the live stream screen. These photos are saved on your mobile device. Let's observe the app's menu. Click on the circled eye and the menu will pop up. Clicking the settings will take us to the settings menu as you recall. Local pictures will show us the still photos gallery. Local record will show us all the video recording files we took while watching the live stream and TF record will give us access to all the camera's recordings that were saved on the SD memory card. We offer different models to fit your surveillance needs. The F717 model is fixed so it monitors a certain area of interest in your home or office. It has a built-in microphone in order to offer both audio and video. The PT737 model offers... It has a built-in microphone and also a speaker enabling your interaction between the app and the camera remotely. Do you need outdoor protection? The WP717 model has IP66 certified housing for protection against dust and rain. And if a hidden camera is needed, we have the R737 in the shape of a Wi-Fi router. If you still encounter problems after this process, please don't hesitate to contact our local support team for advanced technical support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you will be the first to know of any updates and new technical tutorials. Thank you for watching.